What's up guys, CBK here bringing you another Marvel Spider-Man 2 video. What else is new, right? Marvel Spider-Man 2 will always make up the majority of content on my channel, so if that sounds good to you, then be sure to subscribe. But guys, I have done a lot of wishlist videos on my channel for Marvel Spider-Man 2. I mean, a lot. And today I thought it'd be pretty fun to talk about what I think are the most important features I think should be in Marvel Spider-Man 2. I compiled a list of features that I think are must-haves to get the best experience possible out of this game. But I know that my list is probably going to look a little bit different than yours, so be sure to share your top 5 features you want to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2 in the comments section. With that being said, let's swing on into the video. So we're going to start off this list with the one thing that I think will be the most important addition to Marvel Spider-Man 2. Like, we need this above anything else, and that's going to be a larger map. That's right, I obviously want to see Queens and Brooklyn in this game, but I would love the ability to travel to the Statue of Liberty and have access to some of the subway stations below Manhattan. With the power of the PS5, I don't see why this wouldn't be possible for Spider-Man 2. It would be pretty dang disappointing if Spider-Man 2 did not launch with a larger map. I could see the community being quite upset with that if there was absolutely no expansion to the playable map. But for me, this is a feature I'm looking forward to the most. Out of everything else, getting a larger New York City to play around with is the thing I just am so excited about. But I definitely want some new places to explore within Insomniac Spider-Man universe. It's a very important feature that I think has to be in this game. All right, so the next item up on my list is a massive upgrade to the web swinging and traversal system. Listen, Spider-Man PS4 was a really good start, but now we're moving to the PS5 and I have really high expectations for the web swinging and traversal in Spider-Man 2. To start with, the web swinging could definitely be a little bit faster. Having a faster web swinging on the PS4 was a little harder to do because the hardware wasn't able to render the city fast enough, but with the PS5, that should be no problem. The swinging speed should definitely be increased along with some new mechanics. I would love to see some more physics-based web swinging, like adding loop-de-loops under and over bridges or cranes. And for the love of God, we have to implement the slingshot mechanic, not just for going across the city, but for up the side of buildings as well. There should be no reason why decade-old Spider-Man games have a slingshot mechanic, but we don't have one for the PS5. It's definitely something that needs to be in the next game. I have no doubt that Insomniac will introduce this mechanic into the sequel, just because it's so highly requested from the community. Also, I wanna mention that we need better parkour and traversal. We need more traversal like the scrapped cafe scene from the first game. The parkour looks so great in that, and we need more stuff similar to that in the sequel. Okay, so next up on my list of important features we need in Spider-Man 2, we have the ability to port over all of our suits we unlocked in the first game and in Spider-Man Miles Morales. It only makes sense, right? It would kind of suck if we weren't able to use any of the suits we worked so hard to unlock in the first game. I personally would love to just have this massive suit collection over the course of many Spider-Man games. Imagine the amount of suits you would have to choose from if they let you use all of your old suits from Spider-Man PS4 and all of the new suits in Spider-Man 2. This is a must-have feature for Spider-Man 2. So next up on my list, we have a bit of an obvious one, but we need a major upgrade to the combat system in Spider-Man 2, especially when it comes to the combat with the symbiote suit. We need moves and abilities that are specific to the symbiote suit. I would even love if the symbiote suit got its own skill tree. I don't think it's likely going to happen, but it's just something I would love to see. And then we need more animations and cool takedowns, along with some badass team takedowns with Miles. I'd also love to see the combat be a little bit more difficult, and for boss battles to be more challenging. Along with that, I'd love to see some wall combat and some better stealth missions that don't feel so repetitive. Improved combat is definitely a no-brainer, but the upgraded combat is going to be one of the most important features that fans will be looking for in Spider-Man 2. Alright, the next one up on my list is a bit of a big one, but Insomniac has to has to nail Venom in this game. I want the tone of this game to be dark and menacing. Venom is such a brutal and violent character, and I want to see that represented in gameplay and in a story perspective. Venom has to be relentless and brutal in this game. I want to fear Venom whenever I have to face him in a boss battle. Getting the symbiote story and the Venom storyline to work well is among the most important things that could make or break this game. If Venom falls flat, then the game will likely too. But I have full faith in Insomniac 
in all that they do, and I have no doubt that they're going to deliver an amazing Venom and story. But guys, that's going to be it for my list of things that I find to be the most important features Insomniac has to nail in Spider-Man 2. There's of course a ton of other things I would love to see in this game, but this list just represents the things that I find most important. I'd love to know what your list looks like in the comments section. I also want to thank everyone who showed up to my first live stream. It was a blast and I can't wait to do it more. But that's going to be it for me guys, and until next time, I'll see you later.